And we're back with another video on feminists getting owned by their own gender. I feel like there will be a quite a few debates after this, so let's get straight into it. Something that can be debated in the comments later. So in the news this week, transgender weightlifter Laurel Hubbard is going to be competing on the women's team for New Zealand in the Tokyo Olympics. Meaning now that a bunch of biological female weightlifters are going to be competing against a biological male. Hope you all are listening because this is effectively the end of women's sports. And to the feminists out there, why break a glass ceiling when a biological man can do it for Well, that turned around pretty quickly. That's exactly my reality. You know, we joke at work that we actually can't dress fashionably anymore for summer because you actually just can't go in in sandals. You can't go in in a summer dress because you're going to have to put on the jumper or the emergency cardigan. Um, so, yeah, it, it is quite frustrating, especially when you then go out on your lunch break or your commute home and you're absolutely boiling outside. And I think there is a bit of a problem when it's warmer outside than it is inside your office. So what's the solution then? Because we can't have men overheating in the offices, can we? The judge has spoken. I love seeing a woman in control. And boy, is that a timely sentiment now. Um, and yet you, you said you never considered yourself a feminist. Why is that? And do you get the same kind of pushback in saying that that I, I do? Because I've said the same. I get pushback. You have to listen to it. You're younger. I don't listen to it because I'm old. <laughs> because when I was growing up and going to school and being a lawyer and trying to become a judge and becoming a judge and then becoming a supervising judge, I didn't through, do it through any organization. And I think it takes away from your own self-worth if you say I I did it based on the work of a large When it comes from a famous person, it's better. Of superheroes? Superhero women? Yeah. I mean I mean the guys have like sixteen packs. I mean, it's, it's, it's very much like an over-idealized idea of what, you know, a human being should be. And so, you know, um, I think that the, the male superheroes are overly masculinized and, you know, the women are overly feminized. And, you know, I think that's just part of, like, the whole superhero universe, really. She's completely right. You can't blame every man. Dear feminists, would you please stop ruining our society? Good men matter. Good men have a valuable and necessary role in any society, including ours. Good men provide safety and security for their families and their communities. They give their male children an example to model. And they provide their female children with standards that they're going to need as they mature and choose spouses. As a POV, this was great. Love all women. I'm a feminist. That's so cool. You must have been so excited about Amy Coney Barrett going into the Supreme Court. No. I thought you said you love all women. Not when they want to take away my rights. Which rights has she taken away from you? She wants to ban abortions. And killing a baby is a right because... Because it's my body, my choice. Okay, so you're okay with me not wearing a mask. You racist, selfish piece of ah, ah, ah. My body, my choice, remember? But by not wearing a mask, you're literally harming innocent lives. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's almost like